This episode of Lost Anarchy Presents has been brought to you by Ziggurat.com. So, uh, tell us about Conan the Avenger. Yes, Is exactly. That recording? Right. Tell us about it. Tell us about it and all that other cool stuff. Dude. Start we're, the we're, we're live? Yes. Ready to go? Yes, we're ready. Well, uh, look at you, look at the camera, look at you. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Actually, no, Excellent. Jesse, you need to sit next to him, dude. All right, all right. I'll yeah, be yeah. the predator. He's the interviewer. Dude. He's gotcha. The, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Indeed. you ask the questions, I'm sitting down directing. You're the predator viewer. Yes. Put your mouse down. Excellent. Mouse down. All right. Now, ask so, questions. Are you seeing all of my, like, I wish. Infrared, infrared I, it vision. was possible. It was possible. It's really uh, hot in here, so God only knows what I look like right now. I didn't feel like putting in the box. Good point. Good point. You know. I made this at uh, maybe 30 bucks when it's all said and done. Oh, sure, sure. I, I can see it's worth every penny. I can tell. It's looking very good. What? Cigarette. E-cigarette proof. Well, he, he sells it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. No, no, it looks great. I'm serious. My brand. My brand. So, tell us about... Conan the Avengers. Well, Conan the Avengers is the new uh, ongoing Dark Horse series that, uh, like, one that Kurt Busiek started in 2005, that Tim Truman did, that Mike Mignola wrote for a little bit, that uh, and Brian Wood did for a few years, follows Conan's life through the stories that Robert E. Howard sent out. And our story, in our story, he's going mostly through uh, the Africa Middle East of Hyboria. So right now we're in the middle of a storyline called Sh uh, Shadows Over Kush, where Conan is fighting witches and uh, uprisings in Shambhala, which is the capital city of and Kush. Sorcerers? And sorcerers? And sorcerers. Yeah, yeah. Well, the witch is the sorcerer. Oh, yeah, that's what particular instance. Uh, and, and he's uh, allied himself, uh, allied himself with this guy, Agara, who's a witch finder, who's a sorcerer who hunts other sorcerers. So Conan is torn because I hate you because you're a sorcerer, yet you also hate sorcerers. So they have kind of a, can Conan and another sorcerer get along? Alright, so, there's a lot of mythology out of the way. How much do you put it, like, historically, if there is? There is yeah, some historical there is, there is, yeah. Uh, Howard, I didn't, until I worked on Conan, I didn't realize how much Howard researched stuff and put historical things into Conan. And, uh, uh, and so there's a, I do a lot of research. Um, Kush and Shambhala are actually based on a city in the Sudan called Moro, that is this ancient site where the Nubians ruled, and so that was sort of the black Nubian of, 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 of the ancient Egypt times. And so uh, it's like they have little mini pyramids, you know, they just had huge ass pyramids. The, in Moro they've got, and it's not like a, it's like a size matters comment, I'm just saying, it's, it's a historical site. They had smaller pyramids, less ostentatious, they more of them. I don't know where I was going with that. You know why uh, Satan is a snake, right? No, why is Satan a snake? Because of the Mesopotamians. Okay. They worship snakes. Sure. They were the Jews' uh, nemesis. Right, okay. And that's why they got put in the first place. And uh, that, and, and in Conan, of course, the, ba uh, the bad guys really fought them on versus Set, who got changed, was a jackal god in Egypt times, but Howard made him a snake, a snake god. Uh, but uh, but yeah, Fothamon is actually coming back in uh, the next arc, which is called the Damned Horde. It is uh, the fun thing about that arc is here's some Kelly's Heroes, the old Clint Eastwood movie, where they're going after the gold. That's it's basically Kelly's Heroes with Conan, where they're they're in an army, but they're actually trying to do, do this massive robbery in this really like, site. Unfortunately for them, Fothamon, Conan's arch nemesis, is after Fothamon, really. Rothamon well, is in this one. Well, I think of Rothamon, I think of the uh, Conan the Adventurer cartoon. I loved that. So he, like, yes. he, he was obsessed with that shit, dude. That's right, Rothamon was the bad guy from Conan. 7 8 3 for me. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was your original Conan. No, 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 for us it was the original Conan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. Awesome. So, yeah, so we're bringing him back, and he's awesome and scary. Uh, and that's the first year of the series. Alright, so uh, what, what's your series set for? Is that like a uh, not really. Well, you know, Conan, uh, Conan, uh, I'm kind of on it for two years. Uh, we're adapting two more stories, one of which is uh, Zuthul the Dusk, which is this kind of horror story where Conan and his slave girl get stuck in this ancient city with weird magic and monsters and, and, and very strange inhabitants who are smoking the Black Lotus. Mm. I don't know if you have Black Lotus in your e-cigarette, but you might want to try it. Black Lotus, would that be like arrow? Uh, you know, <laughs> 
Okay, if you read the description there, well, they're, you know, they're putting it in pipes and, and you know, chasing the dragon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sure, yeah, it was. Uh, you mean in Hyborian times in the 1930s? Half <laughs> an hour of the stories. <laughs> yes, yes, yes it is. Uh, and then uh, we're doing a story, a really famous story called A Witch Shall Be Born. Which is a very famous scene where Conan's crucified and there are vultures coming after him. No, 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 we and then he know about rips, that, yeah. And then he rips the vultures out, the vultures uh, throw it out. I don't know, that might segue into something else we're talking about. Conan the Barbarian, right? That's all. Yes, yes, yes. So, so that, what so, so do you think was better, Conan the Barbarian, the original, or the Jason Momoa version? You never saw the Momoa version. I never saw the Momoa version, but I'm going to say that Conan the Barbarian is the better. So, Conan the Barbarian is one of the best of that post Star Wars sort of fantasy. And the manliest movie based. ever. It's a very manly movie. It's a highly manly movie. Well, it's not manly. It's almost excessively manly. Jesse, almost excessively manly. Almost a, a, a manly. Fred, Fred, explain to him how manly it is. How manly is it, Fred? It's almost a male birthright to the Fred is insane Fred. This is awesome. <laughs> like when a dude asks me, what the hell am I? Okay. Oh, really? Someone asked that? There has been several dudes that have asked the question, what are you? And it like, clearly is not, they've not been like sufficiently duded. The testicles have been taken off, and uh, you but if you never... If you strap them in Clockwork Orange style and force them to watch Conan and Predator back to back, their balls would drop, they would have the correct confusion of testosterone, <laughs> Man, and you would be... ever. What's the manliest movie ever? What is the manliest movie ever? I mean, Conan the Barbarian is pretty damn manly. Yes! The original, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's yeah, never yeah. seen the new one, yeah, and yeah. he felt it blasphemy to see the new one. So <laughs> That's right. Like, Someone tried to make me like, see it, and then like I... New Total Recall. Yeah, have you seen New Total Recall? I have not. I definitely have not seen New Total Recall. We, we, we envy you. We envy you. Yeah, no. I, I, someone tried to make me see the new Conan the Barbarian, and I stabbed them. I just stabbed them right in the chest. Yeah, rock, boss. You rock, Freddy. You rock. Uh, I tried. Then when I was released from prison, I thought about maybe I'd made a mistake. <laughs> but I still haven't seen it. Uh, no, I mean, Conan the Barbarian is a great movie with John Milius. Uh, uh, I guess rewrote, heavily rewrote Oliver Stone's script. You know, uh, and, and like Apocalypse Now, another John Milia script, the hero chops off the villains head in the end. Spoilers. So clearly, the guy was heavily into beheadings. Any movie with that many beheadings, well, well, that, highly manly. Well, that and the fact that, like, from another point of manly, like he didn't drop everything for a broad. He just the broad dies. And he's like still like carrying it on. He was yeah. He was bummed out. In Conan the, the Destroyer, they ask him what he most wants in life, and he wants it brought and back. He wants her back. If you're angry with your hero on a throne, it's a good. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Oh, yes. It's definitely one of the more, more metal movies ever made. Right. Oh, you're a metal fan? I'm not a huge metal fan, but the movie seems very metal, you know what I'm saying? What? It's highly metal. I mean, like, what's your, uh, I mean, what's your favorite band? They might be Giants, so I know. Oh, no, I, I like, I like the song. I like the, we watch Malcolm in the Middle all the time. So we, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and right. also, Istanbul's a good song, too. It is. It is. They're, I'm from Brooklyn. They're a big Brooklyn band. I love them. You don't sound like you're from Brooklyn. Ohio, but I live, <laughs> I, I live, I've lived in Brooklyn longer than anywhere else, well, including Ohio. Bro when I think of Brooklyn, I think of two bands, all right? I think of uh, Typo Negative. Okay, sure. And I think of uh, one of my favorite bands, Biohazard. Okay, sure. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what, when I think of Brooklyn, I think of those bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, they were, like, that's one of my favorite bands. You know yeah, we're lucky. We got a lot of great music. We got a lot of different kinds of music in Brooklyn. Like, I, I love this uh, bluegrass band that, that's from there. A bluegrass band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like CCR, dude. It's like CCR from fucking Frisco. No, 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 the CCRs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, like, CCRs were fucking, like, up like, San Francisco area. Well, a lot of musicians, like, come to New York to study, and then they just stay. And so they wind up in Brooklyn, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah. We, we you also have a great music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, great musicians, also, as well as us. Well, 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 East Coast had a better punk scene than... Uh, yeah, than West Ramones. Coast. Well, well, Ramones. Yeah, Ramones, Blondie. I, I watch CBGs, but more importantly, yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, like, West Coast, we have, like, Black Flag and TSOL. And we get the arguments about, like, like you know, for example, like, our favorite singer for Black Flag is Henry Rollins. Okay. Right? And everybody and over in the West Coast, they hate Henry Rollins because he's an East Coaster. Okay. We love Henry. Henry's right. like one of our heroes since high school. Sure. And everybody's like, oh, no, no, the better singer is, uh, uh, you know, they'll, they'll say Chavo, or they'll say, like, like Keith Morris. Well, first off, Keith Morris is a douche, dude. Have you ever met Keith Morris? He's a fucking douche. <laughs> like, why I call, I mean, I use the word peasant because he called me that once. Ah, uh, that's not nice. So that's why. Well, peasant is the most politically correct insult ever. 
Because you're not calling anybody a racial slur. Sure. Because it means you just means you're ignorant, you're stuck, and you're poor. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not calling them like a, like otherwise you gotta use like a racial slur, like the N-word or the other words, you know what I mean? But if you call a peasant, it means you're all equally trash. Right, right. Which feel free to use that in your next comment. I will, I'm remembering that. I'm remembering that. But yeah, anything else you wanna say, Predator? Who the hell is Mrs. Valdez? Who the hell is Mrs. Valdez? It's always my last question for anybody. She's the greatest woman who ever lived. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. You can go any way. Like, speaking of Henry Rollins, we asked Henry Rollins, who the hell is Mrs. Valdez? For his 50th birthday, actually. Oh, nice. What was his response? Who the fuck is that? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, that's a question. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You said thank you and happy birthday. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, it was his 50th birthday. He's like one of my heroes. So, like, yeah. you know, for one of my issues, I actually did a, uh, you know, thing with Henry Rollins. He's actually real good about, like, setting shit. He's All actually right. really good. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I think we're done right now. Yeah, right? Cool. Cool. Thanks, yeah, guys. Cool. It was awesome. Dude. Ple Thanks so much. Pleasure and you yeah, Awesome, thanks guys. Yeah. We took you out of your throne there for a second. Sorry about it's that. Alright. It's alright, it's alright. It's all I, good. I give you a mag, but you're just a flyer. Uh, awesome. You'll be at the Eisner's tonight, right? Uh... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or I will scratch your eyeballs out. This episode has been brought to you by Ziggret.com. There's nothing fake about it. We're the source for electronic cigarettes. Welcome to the 21st century. Quit smoking and start vaping. No tar, no secondhand smoke, no pollution, no offensive odors. Smoke without the guilt. We carry everything from egos to traditional electric cigarettes and a full line of accessories. So please come on down to Ziggret.com. All of our flavors are produced right here in the United States. And we can even say our flavors are kosher. So for the best flavors, the best vaping experience, that you can get, go to ziggret.com. And remember, all the flavor you will get vaping on your cigarette at ziggret.com. That's Z I G R E T.com.